Today we're going to show you just how quick and easy it is to deploy Ubuntu OpenStack and Juniper Network's Contrail networking using Canonical's cloud services modeling tool, Juju. First, let's hear a bit more about the products and tools that we'll be using today. Juniper Network's Contrail networking is a simple, open, and agile SDN solution that automates and orchestrates the creation of highly scalable virtual networks. Contrail's Juju charm enables seamless integration into Ubuntu OpenStack and makes it even faster and easier to use Contrail networking, particularly with scale-out workloads. Juju is a cloud services modeling tool from Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu. The power of Juju comes from something we call charms. Charms are the code that encapsulates all the operational knowledge for a service. They contain all the logic you need to deploy, integrate, scale, and expose the service to the outside world. Charms work everywhere Ubuntu works, on virtually any public or private cloud, as well as bare metal. And to make things even easier, bundles of charms can be created to represent groups of services, their configuration, and relationships. Let's have a look at them now. Here we have the Juju graphical user interface. You can also use the command line if you prefer. The first thing you see here is a fresh deployment workspace called the Juju model, where you can drag and drop services that we call Juju charms. You can find all sorts of charms, like the Contrail networking charm, in the Juju Charm Store. Based on best practices, they will have a bunch of default properties, and you can also edit some of them in this interface if you need to, or to set mandatory properties such as passwords and the like. Charms aren't generally used in isolation. The deployment of a working solution is usually modeled as a set of charms working together. Services, represented as nodes on the canvas, can be connected together using relations, represented by these lines. Relations between charms are loosely programmed definitions of how services interface and interact with one another. For example, an application you can deploy, like MediaWiki, might also use a database service, a logging service, and many more things that are easily deployed with Juju and charms. What services that interact with MediaWiki will be automatically indicated when you try to create a relationship line from it? Juju will place your units and use defined constraints, so you need not worry about provisioning if you choose not to. For a greater level of control, use Machine View or the command line to create machines and containers, set constraints, manually place units, quickly scale multiple services, and co-locate units on the same machine or container. Get a clear picture of how your environment is provisioned and track any changes you've made using the GUI. Now that you have a basic understanding of Juju and Charms, let's get going. You could go and get all the components individually, but Juju bundles make it easy to grab a whole set of services and their relationships in one shot. We already have a bundle created that includes all of the Ubuntu OpenStack components as well as the Contrail SDN. This means we can have the whole thing up and running in minutes rather than days. Finally, let's commit the changes to the model so that Juju starts to build out this deployment, automatically provisioning machines for it. So that you can see this is a real deployment, let's go into the OpenStack and Contrail dashboards. First, we'll log in to OpenStack Horizon. As usual, the demo project is present. We can add an Ubuntu OS image into the VM image repository to launch. We could create a virtual network to put our test VM inside right here in Horizon. But let's jump over to the Contrail GUI. Logging into Contrail, we see the number of control, configuration, and network analytics nodes, and the number of vRouters, which maps to the compute nodes of our cloud. Let's go to the Configuration tab, now into Virtual Networks, and create a new virtual network for our demo project. For simplicity, let's use the default IP address management, IPAM, here. We'll choose to address this public virtual network with the 10.0.10.0 forward slash 24 subnet and finish creating the network as a public externally reachable pool of floating IPs. Let's flip back to our Horizon GUI now. In our project's networks, we see the same public network that we created in the Contrail GUI, another private network we created later, and an automatically generated Contrail network for the address translation of the floating IPs. Let's start a VM instance running Ubuntu. In the New Instance dialog box, I chose some sample settings here for a tiny flavored VM and the Ubuntu image that I had loaded earlier, and started the VM running. As you can see, OpenStack is starting my VM. 
As it is doing so, Nova is requesting Neutron to assign an IP address to the VM from our private Ubuntu virtual network, and Contrail's IPAM gave it 10.0.5.3. We associate that same interface to 10.0.10.3 that we allocated from the public network's floating IP pool. The Contrail V router automatically translates the floating address to the private address, and the VM will be reachable externally. We can observe parity in between the state of Horizon and Contrail GUIs. If we go into the Contrail GUIs monitoring tab, we can see the same networks as shown in Horizon, and that the node running the VM is now reporting that its Contrail V router sees one VM. For more ideas, visit jujucharms.com or view our existing demo videos. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.